Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, this hard hat again. Um, so, I've had this hard hat for about a week now, <clears throat> um, using it on the job. And uh, it's one thing to do an initial uh, unboxing and a, re and a review, um, but it's another thing to do a uh, long term review and a uh you know everyday use kind of review so that's what we're doing today we're going to do the everyday use kind of review so <clears throat> as i said i've had this hard hat for about a week uh well actually i've had it a little bit longer than that but i have worn it solid at work for over a week and um there's some it's a great hard hat let me just start off with that it's the one well actually it is the most comfortable hard hat that i've ever worn um, and so that's, that's the positive because, you know, wearability is a big thing. Uh, you know, to have it look good is one thing, but, to uh, be able to wear it and, and wear it comfortably and not irritate you and know that you're, uh, that you're safe. That's, you know, that's, that's another story. And so this is where this, this hard hat excels. Uh, obviously it excels in the safety, uh, aspect of things because of the, uh, wave cell material in there and the way it's designed. Uh, but it also excels in the wearability. And the reason I say this is because, uh, of the ventilation. Um, you know, it's got these vent vents on the sides and on the back. And while they look cool, um, uh, functional, functionally, uh, they also work very well. So this is a very well ventilated hat. I don't, uh, I don't sweat as much as I did, as I did on some of the other hard hats, especially the ones that were non-vented, um, and so, um, the, uh, you know, and with all the padding in there, but it's just, it's just super comfortable. It really is. It's, it's, uh, it's, and it's really lightweight, uh, compared to some of my other units, it's approximately the same as my, uh, 3M unit, um, my full brim 3M unit, uh, even with, even with the, uh, with the accessory or with the uh, flashlight on the side, it, it's just an ounce more you know an ounce or two more it's nothing that uh you don't need to notice it honestly um but uh so let's talk about the uh overall impression of it and i think it's great you know this is like this is one of, this is the only hard hat that's completely made in the usa from usa materials from the manufacturing to the design to the uh to distribution uh right here in the united states and that's that's important um, but the quality is excellent. I mean, it is very durable. Uh, I bumped my head a few times on it and it's not even nicked it up really. Uh, it's got some grease and dirt on it, but you know, that's to be expected with everyday use. Um, especially in, in my position where it's, it's a, you know, fairly greasy job. So, uh, you know, it's going to get, it's going to get dirty, but it wipes off nice and it doesn't, you know, it isn't really stained or anything like that. Um, I find it's like super, um, uh, comfortable it doesn't get in my way a lot uh with some of my other hard hats i, I noticed the brim was so tall in the front uh, or so long in the front uh which this does not have it's a it's i mean it's got a very short front brim but it was bigger and i my glasses would fog up so much um you know my safety glasses uh wearing them because i don't know you know it's just the heat and humidity and you know it would just kind of trap all that hot air and start to fog those things up but I don't really notice it near as bad with this. Um, and it could be because of the ventilation. It could be because it's got that short brim. I think that's what, I actually think that makes a big difference. Having either a very short brim or no brim uh, makes a difference on the on the fog thing. But um, <clears throat> very cool hat hat. Like I said, um, visually it's, it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's, you know, I, I love this hard hat. Um, I have, got more um questions about this hard hat from people at work because it's i mean it's visually it's so different uh i mean you, you see it and you say oh, okay that's you know that's not the typical hard hat i guess what is that and that's what people that may not be familiar with it they, they're asking me hey what is that hard hat what brand is that and uh, some of them heard of it some of them haven't um uh, but it's it's got a lot of attention from just operators and and even some uh, 
upper management and some safety some safety folks have uh got kind of curious about it as well so um <clears throat> but it, again you know uh i guess from the safety standpoint you know our, our our safety leaders are uh are concerned with the uh you know with the type two rating on it um i think that's probably gonna that's probably the way of the future is that uh you know, a lot of companies will start to require type two. And even in the construction world, you know, I was in Nashville uh, last week. And uh, since I got this hard at, it's made me kind of funny. It's, it's kind of my wife jokes at me. She says, you notice the weird, weirdest things because I was, you know, driving down the road. And uh, we were in a, like a construction zone. And um, a lot of the guys, uh, like some crews were wearing the... Uh, you know, typical like 3M uh, type one hard hats. And then I saw several other crews near downtown that were wearing uh, type two hard hats or the helmets, actually, the, the helmets, not the hard hats. This is the only type two hard hat on the market. Um, but they were wearing type two helmets like cask, uh, cask brand helmets. And uh, I think maybe one of them, I think I may have saw a Studson helmet out there, but so there's a lot of like construction companies and uh, industries going to the type two standard. And uh, so again, I think, uh, you know, that is the future is that, uh, is that a lot of companies will start going to this type two standard. And this is, again, this is the only type two hard hat you're going to find out there. And, uh, and, and it's a super well-made one and a comfortable one to boot. So, if you're thinking about buying a, a hard hat and you, and you, and you're, um, you know, whether it's uh, your individual or your company, uh, I would say reach out to TPR industrial and they, uh, they've, uh, you know, they're the ones that hooked me up with this hard hat and, um, they are, um, very responsive. Uh, they are the authorized reseller for, uh, the wave cell hard hats. So, um, but yeah, reach out to them. Um, they'll get you hooked up it's a it's a it's definitely worth worth the money uh you know if this is not a you know a cheap cheaply made hard hat or a uh you know a cheap and price hard hat either um but if you factor in that this is something that you're going to wear and it's uh you know every day for about a third of your life uh you know this it's a good value it really is um Cause, I mean, you can buy, you know, or you can get, take the ones that they, you know, work gives you or whatever. But uh, if you really want a comfortable hard hat, I mean, you're not going to, you're going to be hard pressed to find anything that's as comfortable as this thing right here. Um, but at any case, uh, check out the, check out their website, uh, tprindustrial.com. Uh, you can go to Wave Cell. Uh, you can probably uh, get a link from there as well. I'll leave some links on the bottom of this as well if you're interested. But uh, yeah, check them out. I think you'll I think you'll enjoy uh, wearing this hard hat. Um, and like I said, we have 2,000 employees roughly where where I live or I work, anyways. And uh, like I said there's just been uh, like a ton of interest in this thing. Uh, just not, I mean, but like I said, not, and the operators, uh, you know, just curious, really, you know, they want to know what it is because it looks different. But uh, from the from uh, the management end of things, um, and you know, I think that there uh, there's a a lot of interest there as well. But <clears throat> so there was two things that I wanted to cover real quick, and I'm sorry this is going a little long, but there are two things that I wanted to cover that maybe. Uh, it's uh, something that wave cell can look into in the future. Um, but, uh, with, with this hard hat, there's, um, on the front of the, this is the front of the, of the front padding here. Um, there's these two channels right here in the middle and that when I have to put the hard hat on and crank it down because I'm, you know, in a leaned over position or something like that, uh, these two channels, ends up leaving lines right there in the middle of my forehead. Uh, and I don't see that they actually do any good. Maybe that, maybe they're there for like extra ventilation or sweat. So if sweat don't accumulate in there and, and, and maybe that's what that's for. I'm not real sure. Um, 
but you know maybe if they could it doesn't serve any purpose in my opinion so they could go with a smooth uh surface all the way around and uh that that would help i've, I've actually put a little piece of terry cloth in there uh once just to try it out just to see if that would i kind of like tucked it in a little bit and it worked great i mean it didn't leave any mines there and uh you know didn't impede the, the airflow or anything like that uh so that's one thing that you can look at uh otherwise it's very well built everything is uh super sturdy um like the adjustability of this back here uh but there's one other thing uh from a compliance standpoint i don't know if i got a pre-production unit or what but uh you can you can tell and most hard hats you're gonna have a uh you know the um the compliance rating uh you know meets or exceeds ANSI z89.1 that's going to be imprinted somewhere on the hard hat uh, this one is not imprinted on that hard, on its hard hat so the only way to tell and like i said this may be a pre-production unit so that may be why it's not there but the only way to tell if i have to prove that it's compliant with uh the z89.1 standard or higher which is what this actually is type two so it's higher than that standard um but to see the class rating and all that stuff you'd actually have to refer to that little sticker and you know in a human environment that sticker is not going to last very long um it's lasted for a week but who knows how long it will you know in the future um but so i would suggest that um you know on the production run that they uh actually imprint it in this little if you can see there's a little box right there it's an imprinted little box uh right here that they could put that that uh imprint that standard right there that you know meter exceeds that standard put it right there so so if uh if i have to prove this in the future that it is compliant they don't have to go on the website and all that stuff they can they can just look at the uh at the brim um you know there's there's other markings on here imprinted so there's the uh the model number right there um there's uh you know the what the material is in a recycle um it's an abs hard hat so there's a there's a recycle symbol there with the with the type of material it is um and there's a of course the proudly made in the usa symbol imprinted in the back but uh so yeah if they could do that in the future that would be cool um and there's a, I think there's a spot right there for it. So maybe that's what the intent was. And, uh, and I just got a pre-production unit and that may be the case. I, I think that that's probably what the situation is here, but Hey, I want to thank, uh, again, thank y'all for watching and thanks, uh, for, to TPR industrial and to wave Cell for providing me this hard hat to do the review. Um, so if you're considering a hard hat, do not discount this one. Uh, take, take a look at it. Uh, look at the technology that's behind it um and uh i think you will appreciate the value for the quality um so have a great day we'll talk to y'all later bye-bye